identify the acute carious lesion shown in the color plate. So here we have been asked to identify that this grossly carious teeth that are seen in this image, whether they are recurrent caries, nursing bottle caries, cervical caries or radiation caries. Now what are the important things that we need to note from this image is that the crown of the, uh, of the teeth are completely destroyed. So there is complete destruction of the crowns. So we can understand that these are, uh, this is a type of case that is very rapidly spreading and burrowing type. Another very important thing to note from the image is the distribution of the caries. So only the maxillary anterior teeth seem to have been affected whereas the lower anteriors are all spared. So this is a very characteristic feature. This is a very characteristic feature of nursing bottle caries. So on the basis of these points, we can uh, very easily identify that the image in the question is of a nursing bottle caries. Now what is nursing bottle caries? They are also, it's also known as baby bottle syndrome or bottle mouth syndrome. This usually occurs because when the child is uh, uh, fed while sleeping, the milk or the juice or the pacifier that is retained in the mouth after the child has fallen asleep, it is not cleared away and this uh, is what initiates the caries attack. Now this is a type of rampant caries. So nursing bottle caries is a type of rampant caries. So once it is initiated, it spreads very rapidly and involves the upper anterior. So it usually involves the upper anterior teeth. The lower anteriors are spared because of the cleansing action of the tongue and the saliva from the submandibular glands. However, if, the, uh, if this uh, syndrome is not checked or if it is not prevented, it can spread to other parts of the mouth, that is the posterior teeth and eventually it can also uh, include the uh, lower anteriors. So that is why once it's, it begins, it needs to be monitored and it needs to be treated immediately. Now what are the other options and how can we differentiate this type of caries from the other options given in the, given in the question? So recurrent caries. Now recurrent caries are caries which are seen under a restoration. So uh, for recurrent caries to uh, be diagnosed, a restoration is important which was not there in the given image. So it is usually seen on a radiograph as a radiolucency below a restoration that is already present. So that is what is known as recurrent caries. Now cervical caries. Cervical caries are caries which are only present on the cervical areas of the teeth. Now since we saw in this image that uh, the entire tooth was involved such that only root pieces are of the tooth or the, only the cervical areas of the tooth are left, the almost entire tooth has been broken down, we know that this is not cervical caries. Now radiation caries is also a type of rampant caries. However, for radiation caries to be present, there needs to be a history of radiation. This radiation therapy uh, because of any malignancy causes xerostomia. So it causes xerostomia and there is a reduced cleansing action by the saliva because of xerostomia which causes the caries attack. Now that uh, uh, radiation caries is also a type of caries which involves the cuspal edges, the incisal edges etc. And once it is initiated, it is also very rapidly spreading and burrowing type which can cause the destruction of the entire crown. And it is not specific to any particular area like how in nursing bottle caries the maxillary anterior teeth being involved is a characteristic feature. Well, that is not the case for radiation caries. The radiation caries can start from anywhere and it can spread quite rapidly to the other areas of the mouth. So based on the since no history has been given of radiation, we can rule that out. And uh, since nursing bottle caries is very frequently seen in children of this age group that is in the primary dentition stage, we can very safely identify and diagnose this condition as nursing bottle caries.